Hi, I'm Patsy Lou Miller, and I'm talking to you today because Susie Lee and I have a brand new picture book out. It's called See You Someday Soon. It's from Roaring Brook Press, and it's about all the ways that you can love someone and stay connected to someone, even if you're very far apart. The book is told in the first person from the point of view of a kid who is missing a grandparent who's far away. And so the kid's thinking about all the different ways that they could stay connected, whether it's through writing letters or talking on the phone or seeing each other over the computer. And then the kid thinks about creative ways that they could stay in touch and actually maybe travel the distance to see each other, whether it's a bobsled, a jetpack, a catapult, putting themselves in an envelope and mailing themselves to their grandparents. Um, and what I think is really awesome is Susie Lee, when she did the art, used die cuts, which kind of helped connect the characters in the book, even though they're far apart. So you can see where one character is and the die cut connects them to the other. And so all throughout the book, the die cuts connect the characters, even though they are a great deal of distance apart. And so this book got me thinking about other books about grandparents, especially grandparents who are far away, that might be good reads for you and your family. And so the first one I want to talk about is Grandma and Me. This is written by Carol Boston Weatherford and illustrated by Ashley Korn. And it's a board book. So it's a perfect book for a brand new grandparent or a brand new grandchild. Um, it's a very short, very sweet poem about all the different ways that grandchildren and grandparents can love each other and the wonderful relationship they can have and all the things they can do to enjoy each other's company. And because it's a board book, it can be chewed on, slobbered on, dropped, and no damage will be done. So this is an awesome first present, first book for a grandparent or a grandchild. I also want to talk about this book, I'll Go and Come Back. It's by Rajani LaRocca and it's illustrated by Sarah Palacios. And it's a beautiful story about a grandchild who lives in the United States going to visit a grandmother who lives in India. And they don't speak the same language, at least not fluently, but they love each other. And it tells all about how their love travels across the world and how they do certain things and enjoy each other's company in India. And then when the grandmother comes to the US, they do very similar things in the US. And it uses an Indian phrase, instead of just saying goodbye, it says, I'll go and come back, which implies that this will not be the last time I see you. I will always come back. I will always see you again. And it's a beautiful ode to grandparent and grandchild love. Along a similar note, I have Amma Far Away. This is about a grandparent and a grandchild where the grandchild's in the U.S. and the grandparent is in Taipei. It's written by Margaret Chu Granias and it's illustrated by Tracy Subasak. And the different thing about this book is this is a grandparent and grandchild who have spent a lot of time staying connected over Zoom on the computer. And they have a relationship that's almost entirely built on these computer conversations. And then when they actually end up face to face in Taipei, it takes the grandchild a while to warm up to the actual real life grandma who is, you know, seems a little different in person than she does on the computer screen. And I like this because it's very true to life. It's a lot of easier to stay friends with someone and to appreciate someone when you see them in person. And if you don't see them in person, things can seem a little different. And this book talks about how they overcome that and have a deeper relationship. And then when they go home, continue their relationship on the computer. And then finally, I want to talk about All From a Walnut by Amy Joan Paquette, illustrated by Felicita Sawa. This is a beautiful book about a grandfather who, when he was a child, moved from Italy to the United States. And he brought with him a walnut from a tree in his yard. And he planted the walnut and a tree grew. And no matter where he went in the US, he took the pot with the tree until eventually he planted it in his yard. And then he took a tree from the, a nut from that tree and gave it to his daughter, who grew a tree. And then when his granddaughter is the appropriate age, I'm guessing around eight or so, she gets a walnut from her grandfather to keep the family tradition going. So it's about life, it's about love, it's about generations, it's about traditions. Beautiful, beautiful book for grandparents and grandchildren. And a lot of these books, even though they have a grandparent and grandchild relationship, they're good for anybody um, because they're all about family love. And I think family love is something you can never have enough of. And it's great to see how different families love each other in different ways. So I hope that you and your family will read these books, talk about the best way that you can love each other and stay connected. Happy reading and have a great day.